What's up guys? Learning with Rich here. In this video, we are going to continue our discussion about uh, Revit for mecha Mechanical Design uh, certif uh, Professional Certification Preparation. Okay? So in case you're going to take the exam, this is our reviewer, this series of videos. So we just finished the topic for the uh, documentation, right? So this time, we are going to start series of videos for families. So we're going to familiarize ourselves when it comes to the families in MEP. First, we are going to define the MEP connectors. So in this video, we are going to place uh, MEP connectors and I'm going to show you how to adjust the connector properties. So right now, this is an MEP project. Okay, so I'm going to select, let's say, for example, this uh, water source heat pump. Okay, and then pay attention to the connector labels. So we have here a series of connectors. So we have the connectors for the duct, uh, pipes, duct again, and then we also have a power here if you want to create a circuit, and then another connector for uh, the pipe here. Okay, so as you can see, the label or the connector labels show the con MEP connectors that have been placed on our uh, 3D model here or the component. So to get a better understanding, we are going to edit this family. Okay, so I'm to edit the family, so with the family selected, I'm going to select your edit family. Okay, so to open the family in the family editor. So I click that one and then it will now open up the family editor. So this is the family editor. This is where you create your family. Okay? So the loadable families that you are using in your project, you create that in the family editor. As you can see, it has a different environment. Okay? So you have the tools here to create the 3D model. Okay? And also... You have the connectors panel here if you want to place the connectors. Right, so these are the connectors. So we have electrical connector, duct connector, pipe, cable tray, and conduit. Okay, so let's say for example, I'm going to orbit the model somewhere here. So let's say I'm going to place a connector here, like a duct connector. Okay, so do that. From the connectors here, I'm going to click the duct connector. So let's click that one. Okay. So when placing a connector, so there are two placement options. So we have here place on face, allows placing a connector on a face. And then the other one is place on work plane. Okay. So places a connector on a work plane. For this instance, I'm just going to use the default here, place on face. I'm going to place it to this face here. But before you place that, you can actually select here what will going to be the system classification for that uh, duct connector that you are going to place to your 3D model. So you can click the drop down arrow here and then you'll be able to see here the system classification. So by default, I'm just going to use here the supply air system classification. And then after that, I'm going to move my pointer here. And then here, I'm going to select this one here. Oh, it's already enabled. But you will notice I still can't highlight this face here. Right? So this is the face where I want to place the connector. So if I'm going to move my pointer to the top, it will just highlight the top uh, portion here. That face, the top face. So if gonna if I'm going to hover my pointer at the bottom, so it will just highlight the bottom face. Now for me to be able to select this face here, I'm going to move my pointer to that edge there. I'm not gonna click, just move first and then press tab once. On your keyboard, press the tab just once. There you go. So as you can see it now highlights the face. So once you see it highlights, so you can now click to place the connector easy right so there's now your connector and then i'm gonna select the modify here to terminate the tool and there you go so you just place your uh, connector so if i'm going to select this connector as you can see the z direction here remember the z direction should be pointing to the direction that the duct or pipe will connect from 
And take note that the Z direction does not represent the flow direction. Okay, so the Z direction should be pointing to the direction that the duct or pipe will connect from. And that's not the uh, flow direction. Okay, so just remember that one. Okay, now with our connector selected, so let's have a look at the properties here and then let us explore here. Okay, so as you can see, the flow direction can be modified here. Okay, so you have the mechanical parameters here. Under the mechanical parameters, so you have the flow direction. So you have several options here for the flow direction. So you have uh, bidirectional, which is the current uh, setting of that uh, connector. But you can also select that uh, this one as an in. Okay, in uh, flow direction or out flow direction. Okay, so it's up to you. It's up to you uh, based on the family that you are creating. So you can specify if it is a bidirectional or only in or only out. Okay, so another option that you can modify here on the properties is the system classification. Okay, so this controls the systems that the connector can be added to. Okay, so the system classification must match between the system type and connector. And as you can see, you also have here uh, fitting and global options. So it shows us here system classification for uh, duct. But if you're going to place a pipe connector, it will show you here system classification for uh, pipe. Okay. So another thing that you can uh, explore here is the flow configuration. Okay. Flow configuration here. You can specify that as a calculated. So when set to calculated, the flow is calculated as the total flow of the downstream components connected in the system. So if it is set to preset, a user-defined value is specified for the flow. Okay, so if it is set to system, a percentage of the system flow is allocated to each of the downstream components according to the flow factor parameter. Okay, so another thing that you can uh, explore here is that, let's say for example the flow, the connector parameters can also be associated to family parameters, this button here. So this allows the connector parameters to be adjusted in the project, okay, by selecting this button. Of course, you can specify here the exact value, but you can also specify a family parameter to that particular flow, whether it be, let's say, that's an air flow, drain flow, hot water flow, or water flow here. Okay? And another thing, I'm going to click outside. Notice that on all of my connectors here, one of my connectors have a cross on it. You see there's a cross here. Okay? So connectors with a cross represent the primary connector. Okay, so additionally, if I'm going to select select this connector, connectors with a dash line, you see there's a dash line there. Okay, so additionally connectors with a dash line connecting them are link. Alright? So this only appears when one of the connectors is selected. So linking connectors is the method of or is the method to model supply and return connectors that are associated. Okay? Right. So basically this is the the basic things about the connector. So if you want you can explore or uh, you can explore placing connectors to your family. Let's say I want to place a pipe connector. So before I do that, I'm going to select create here. I'm going to create an extrusion, for example, here. So I select that one. And I'll be setting my work plane. Or I'll just set select uh, pick a plane. I'm going to place it to this face here. There you go. And then I'll just create a circle. That one, just a circle. So there you go. I now have a circle there. So maybe I'll just type in here like uh, 0.25 
open inch there you go and then I'll just select your modify okay and then I'll just specify an extrusion here I'll just select here okay so that's the extrusion that's too big so I'll just adjust it like that okay so there's now my circle so I'm gonna put a pipe connector there so create a pipe connector and then I'm going to let's say I want a, a hydronic return a pipe there okay so I'm going to specify here I'm gonna place it here there you go so there's my connector and then modify okay so you can change the radius of that so you can change from here so like a uh, 0.25 of an inch enter there you go so I just placed now my connector so if I'm going to load this to the project again so load into project and then override so as you can see I now have let me check the 3d view there you go so there's my 3d there's now my family you see I now have a connector here I have another connector here so if I select that so I can create a duct there like that and modify so I click this I can also create a pipe here like that All right okay so there you go for this uh, simple exercise so hopefully you learned something from this video thank you for watching have a nice day